And Tim Lammers here at TPC River Highlands in Cromwell for the second round of the Travelers Championship. Right now, there's another log jam on the leaderboard. Keegan Bradley and Paul Casey, two of the, the three names that are in the co-lead at eight under par. Two very well-known names, Keegan Bradley, New England's own. And uh, that's good news when uh, some recognizable golfers are leading this tournament. Happy to have David Griggs from the Metro Hartford Alliance with me now to talk more about what this tournament as a whole means for the region. And that's sort of my segue. And well, first things first, good to see you again, sir. Yeah, thank yeah, you. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Uh, of course, uh, the tournament does such a good job showcasing the Greater Hartford, even better, even more so, when uh, some very famous golfers are, are, are leading this tournament. Tell me, in, in, from your perspective, what this, what this championship means. Well, it, you know, first and foremost, it's, it meant $2 million to our local charities last year because of all the, the funds raised here during yeah. the tournament. So that, that's number one. But um, from an economic developer's point of view, this is an opportunity to highlight um, the great region that Hartford is. We are the insurance capital of yeah. the world, so how fitting that the Travelers um, <laughs> tournament is, is here. Of course, they're, they're headquartered here. But um, so, so it's an opportunity for us to, to really showcase to the world who we are. How do you leverage that? I mean, now that all eyes are on here, what can you do about it? Well, you know, one of the, the, the primary things we need to do is make sure the media has all the right messaging about who we are right. so that when, when they uh, do their breakaways or their, their B-roll, as, as you all call it, yep. they've got all the right kind of material to highlight who we are as a region, um, you know, highlighting that insurance capital uh, moniker that we own, uh, but also understanding some of the other great industries that we have here around aerospace, um, and uh, precision manufacturing. So it really is a, a, a primary opportunity for us to get the word out about who we are. And what about people who are coming in from out of town, out of state for this tournament, maybe wouldn't necessarily be watching local media? How do you sort of highlight the region of them? Sure. Well, um, you know, let, let's not uh, get lost in there. It's a $68 million economic impact wow. that all of those folks coming in from outside the million. Yep have to our region. So, you know, eating in our restaurants, uh, having a beer at our local pubs, and hopefully staying in some of our, our hotels, um, that impact is, is huge for us. So, you know, having a tournament like this or the NCAA tournament brings in dollars from outside our region, which is really what we want to do. And what I love is when this is on uh, national TV, they always say, hey, here we are. This is in Hartford. Nothing against Cromwell, but it's just highlights that people look at this as Hartford's tournament. And uh, that's what the Metro Hartford Alliance is here to help capitalize on. Uh, glad you could be here. Thank Mr. you, Tim. Glad to it. have you here. OK, uh, still a lot going on, but uh, we want to get back to the uh, studios in Hartford because there's a lot going on there, too, guys. It's a little foodie.